Michelle here with the Lafayette Public Library and thank you today for joining me for shadow art. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to make art using shadows. What is a shadow? What makes a shadow? Do you know? It's when light hits an object that it can't go through. So like near you will make shadow puppets. The light can't go through your hand so it makes a shadow of your hand on the wall. What you'll need is a light source for shadow art. So if it's a nice sunny day, you can do it outside, you just pick an object to draw and the sun will hit it and you place your paper where the shadow is. Since it's not quite a sunny day, I'm going to show you guys how to do it inside. So what you'll need is a different light source. So I have a flashlight, I've taped it to a box so that way it kind of gives me a higher angle with my light. You will need paper to trace the shadow. You will need a pencil to trace the shadow just in case you make a mistake, pencils have erasers. You'll need some tape because I'm going to tape it to the door back here and you will need something to draw or someone and this is Irving and he is a vulture and he has volunteered to be my subject today to draw so with that also first get your adults permission before you start any project they're gonna want to know why you need a flashlight and tape and someone to draw you can also draw as I draw Irving you could draw a friend you can use their shadow on the wall and draw them. You could draw shadow puppets. Any kind of shadow you want to trace. So with that being said, let's hit the lights. There we go. So as you can see, I've got my flashlight on and we've already got shadows on the wall. So as you can see, I've got Irving's shadow and my shadow on the wall. So you can have fun with it. Draw whatever you'd like that makes a shadow. So since I want to draw Irving's, I'm going to position him to where I like his shadow. I don't know, that, that looking over his shoulder is not bad, but I like this way. Now, what happens if I move him closer to the light? What happens to his shadow? Closer to the light, he blocks more of it, he makes a giant shadow. I don't, I don't think I can draw that on my piece of paper. So we're going to move him further from the light. What does that have to do to his shadow? And that makes his shadow smaller. So I like him right about there. We're gonna draw his shadow. So now I've got where I want him and how I like his shadow. And then you decide how you want your paper. So I'm gonna do mine at a slight angle. So that way I get Irving's silhouette, his shadow, the sh silhouette of his face and head on the paper like so. Take my pencil and I'm going to trace or outline his shadow. And there you go. I'm going to move Irving out of the way. And I will take this off the wall so I can show you guys the outline of Irving's shadow. So let's see. What do you think? Does it look like Irving? I think so. And that's how you make shadow art. Hopefully you guys have fun tracing different objects or each other. Enjoy, have a wonderful time with it, and thank you for joining me today. Goodbye!